Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Here's the problem of the day for Mr. Woods Teaches. Hi everybody, this is Mr. Woods Teaches. Number Talks! Hey, today I have my good friend, Shone. Shone's an awesome dude. Let's show him how we can do some math. Shone had some sunflower plants in his garden. Thirteen of them died. Now he has eleven sunflower plants. How many sunflower plants did Shone have to start with? Hmm. What do you think? Too bad that plants died. I don't think he has a green thumb. That's why I put his name in orange. Hi friends. Okay, so the dead sunflowers are in black. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's thirteen of them. Okay? That's what, how many had died. And the number that was left was at eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. How would you solve this? Do you see any patterns emerging? Hmm. Let's see what we can do to rearrange a few of these things. Because if you notice, there's one, two, three, four in this row, four in that row. And it comes down to here, and there's one, two, three, but there's only one in this row. Can we move that one down here? I think so. Let's do that. Now, we can easily determine the number of sunflowers that Shone had before the 13 died. Because right now we have one, two, three, four rows. And one, two, three, four, five, six columns. Oh. That means that either I have six fours or four sixes. Let's count by fours. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. So Shone had twenty-four sunflower plants before 13 died. There we go. And that's our answer. And let's thank Shone. Okay. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Here's a preview of the next number talk with Mr. Woods Teaches.